In this video today, I'm going to share with you one of the most important points in becoming a consistently great golfer. And this has to do with how we deliver the golf club through impact. And as many of you know, my method is called Setup for Impact. And besides simplifying the game through my setup, I also spend a lot of time with my clients working on making impact great, just like you see the top pros on TV. And from my experience, anybody can learn how to do this. And I'm going to jump right in with the most important part of delivering the club. As you know, what our goal is uh, to get this grip leading the club head through impact. And the problem most people have is their trailing hand is trying to create speed and trying to get the ball up in the air. And so it's messing really the swing up. In one of my recent videos, you saw me uh, advocating making some swings and learning to swing with the left hand or left arm and basically using the body and holding on and turning. And I showed you here how the impact position when I was swinging that way, how nice the lag was there. And now today we're gonna focus more on the trailing side, the trailing hand. And if you look, go back to where we were at impact there and I put the trailing hand on the club, it's important to see this aspect of the trailing wrist and how it's extended back like that, or some would say cupped. And that's a position you'll see here, the top ball strikers also add impact, you're gonna see that. Whereas when I put my clients or I'm in a golf school, uh, or when I'm teaching one of my golf schools, virtually every client at impact looks like this. So the wrist is actually already released as opposed to what the best players are here. So we'll spend a lot of time then working like this with our goal being to train the trailing arm uh, to actually go through this way. And you see it doesn't work very well if I just try to do it with my arm. What I need to do is move the club here with my body and making sure that I get rotated and then hold through impact. So to teach people how to move this way, uh, we need to isolate the problem and as part of my learning program, what I'll have people doing is learning to make this motion. And it's, it's easy to show people what to do, but to get yourself to do it is the hard part. That's why my coaching allows you to send in videos for my review so that I can aid you to more quickly do that properly. And I can also customize your setup to help fit your needs uh, so that it makes learning much quicker. Um, and Basically, I'll have people doing this. So move the club back to the trailing foot, rotate using the legs, hips, body, moving through to this position. And note that the grip is here past the body. So you can also here stop at impact and see that uh, the grip is ahead. It should be opposite the leading leg here. And you should see the wrist in this position. So simply training this and doing this over and over again is really the way to create a new great habit uh, and it's going to improve every club every shot uh, whether it's from a driver to a wedge shot we need the club coming in that way so what happens after impact you'll see the club is it is releasing into this position here where it comes into alignment with the leading side of the body and then it goes there and most people the problem is it's going here and as you get into impact, there's all kinds of face rotation happening. Uh, so my advice is simply to practice here, making some swings like that. See if you can hit a golf ball just doing that and holding that finish and uh, try to make that a habit first. So you're gonna find if you video it, and if you become part of my learning program or come to one of my schools, we're gonna perfect that move before moving on to a longer swing and trying to make the same motion happen. And then that's what's fully releasing. Um, and of course, uh, a lot of it, when I go to longer swing, it's going to be with both hands on the club. But we just need to train the proper motion to create a new great habit. If you haven't subscribed here, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Um, also, any comments or questions are appreciated. There's going to be a lot of new content coming out that's going to help you step by step through how to improve your golf swing. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.